guys, Amanda here. I know it's been a while since you guys have seen me here on YouTube or Instagram or anything else because it has been a busy last few years. Um, those of you who don't know, I did fight a battle against stage two triple negative breast cancer and um, it took some time for me to heal from chemotherapy and my surgeries and um, yeah, growing my hair back and looking normal again. Um, I do plan on, since October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I do plan on sitting down and making um, a video. I was going to say a comeback video, but anyways, just making a video and sharing some of my journey because I did document every bit of it in hopes of sharing my YouTube, uh, sharing all that on my YouTube channel, and I just didn't. I just got so busy sidetracked. And so sick from everything. Um, so here we are, almost three years into remission. And um, oh, we're going into four years of being diagnosed this November. So three years in remission. But, anyways, um, yeah, so we will do that in an upcoming um, video because I want to get back to doing videos on my channel and my second channel that I made for my love of dollhouses and i will link it below oh god and i am out in my she shed you guys so if you hear the rain it's a metal roof out here so you're you're probably gonna hear um the neighbor's dog barking which is down next door to me i live across from my she shed so i'm across the road um but the neighbor's dog barks all night all day it is not time here but yeah i apologize for any noise you may hear i'm gonna add a little bit of music into this video so yeah this is probably gonna be a long one um i apologize in advance but as you can see i have one um two and three timu halloween goodie hauls i believe um this is um, to get, st uh, in these bags I had other things like random items like for nails and household items, things like that. Little gifts that I got, family and friends, but I took out everything and just did all the Halloween goodies that I got. And um, yeah, so it's, it's a lot. <laughs> I apologize. So I'm hoping that I didn't leave some random stuff in here but um yeah let's get started with um this haul guys and thank you for for coming back and for hanging out with me and i hope to do more videos soon and i hope to see you soon again so if you want to see what goodies that i got in these big old massive bags come back and check things out see you in a bit Okay guys, I don't even know if you're going to be able to hear me in this video because it is absolutely pouring the rain and as you can, <laughs> yeah, can you hear that? So maybe I'll add some spooky music to this and um, this is, like I said, this is going to probably, probably be a long video. I'm looking at myself in the monitor instead of myself in there so I apologize if I'm looking all over the place because it's been a while and I'm trying to get back into the swing of things so okay let's start off with the small bag the little little bag from Timu and everything just fell hang on a minute okay let's try this again guys so let's start with the smaller bag from Timu and let's see, it's a surprise to me because like I said, I've ordered all this stuff over probably a three month period. You know, just getting different little Halloween things. And my Halloween theme this year for my decorations inside and out is sheet ghosts. So yeah, let's see what we got. They may be some items that are random goodies in here um, that I forgot to get out, but as you can see, there is like little tiny packages in here. So if you want to see, I will hold them up and show you. And um, 
or you know hopefully hopefully I do a good job of not ram ramble on too much because I'm very bad for rambling okay so let's I know there's Halloween jewelry in here um yeah some this is and that <laughs> just things that caught my attention and I thought was super cute and wanted to get for a spooky season so let's start off with this little bitty package and see what is in here it's a surprise to me because I have been um, saving these packages so I could, um, you know, have do one big haul video instead of like one video here, one video there. Because I do want to do a video coming up soon and it is um, a Timu haul for um, like nail, you know, nail goodies. So, and then I want, I'm going to get back to my, um, my beauty subscription boxes and my nail subscription boxes and I hope to get back to my beauty things here on this channel which is more um hauls and beauty and nail related videos and then for my other channel that um, i will link in the description um, it is more for vintage items my love for dolls vintage toys doll houses and it's not just a channel for me it is a channel for me my mother and my daughter so and also my pets too but okay no, enough rambling, Amanda. I always say Amanda rambles. So, the first little item we got here is ah, a little sheet ghost ring. I don't know if you can see that. I honestly forgot about getting this little thing. Oh, my goodness. Overlook my nails. I really need to do my nails. But can you see this little thing? Let's see if I can focus. I if I can focus. But anyways, he's got little eyeballs, and he's so cute. And it is actually good quality. So, I this does not look like a cheap little bubblegum ring. So, yeah. Ooh, spooky. Spooky, ooky, ooky. I have to be silly. It's been a while, so please bear with me. I'm already almost four minutes in, and I am just opening the first item, guys. So... I apologize. It's going to be a long, long video. Next, we have ooh, some spooky ghost in a bottle earrings. I think I ordered two pair of these. Uh, one for myself and one for my daughter. I'm just going to show you one. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see for the glare, but it does glow in the dark. And it does have little eyes and it's a little dangle and my ears are so tiny my daughters are too we barely have a little earlobe so <laughs> we cannot wear really heavy earrings so that is so cute she's gonna love them my daughter has been a type 1 diabetic insulin dependent since she was three years old and um, she was actually diagnosed in October after her third birthday so her her Halloween that year was mostly like little goodies and we we always have a tradition of watching um it's the great pumpkin charlie brown that's something that my mother watched with me my mother and father and um i always watched with my daughter when um every year every year that she has had um a halloween we watch it's great pumpkin charlie brown and the great pumpkin still at 28 years old my daughter is a grown woman at 28 years old she still gets her great pumpkin gift so and it usually consists of little little goodies but i hope she doesn't watch this video this time because i love for her to watch my videos but um, I will tell you what I got for her great pumpkin other than like little goodies I got from Timu is I got her the Stranger Things Colourpop palette. Do you hear that? Oh my god, this makes it even more spookier. <laughs> okay, I'm across the road by myself and behind me is my pet cemetery. We had to move my pets from across there to there. And I'll go into that in another video if you guys are interested into knowing why. Some of you may know why we had to move our pets from across behind our home to back here on another mountain. We live, as the hillbillies will say, we live in a holler, <laughs> a hollow, but we say holler here in Southeast Kentucky. And uh, we had a bad flood and the flood caused the mountainside behind us to fall. So yeah, we had to have some work done. 
But anyways, my daughter gets a great pumpkin gift every Halloween, and we got her the Stranger Things. I got her the Stranger Things ColourPop um, palette, and I think the cream blush. So to go in her great pumpkin gift, and she got some ghost earrings. The next little item is. Oh, this is one of the random items. I'm gonna save that for um, a jewelry haul. I got some cute little, this is supposed to be just uh, all Halloween goodies, so let's say. Oh, okay, here it is. That was, I don't know why that was added in there by accident. This um, goes with the ghost in a jar earrings. My little ghost is upside down. What happened, buddy? Okay, he is, I don't know if you can see that or not. How cute is that? It does have a little painted eyes, you can't really tell. Um, it is supposed to glow in the dark. I'm gonna hold up to my ring light, and I'm gonna see. Mm, it glows a little bit. But now, everything that I've ever ordered from Timu, I have been very, very pleased with. I'm very pleased. Um. So, I thought this had a little bag that it went in. This is also for my daughter. And this is a, a pearl blood drop necklace. I also got myself one because I love vampires. She is going to love this necklace. Love, love, love. They had different ones that you could choose from, but I thought this one was really, really beautiful. Let's see. Ooh. And then say if you want to be a, va a vampire for Halloween, which um, I think I'm going to be a vampire this year and give out candy. And I did get me some vampire teeth. I just saw lightning and it scared me. <laughs> My heart kind of jumped a little bit. Um, but yeah, I got some vampire teeth. And look how pretty this is. Is that not gorgeous? I'll hold it up so you can see the details. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to load all this stuff up and pack it back across the road. Now mind you have to go across the little, our little, the little road that separates our property from the parking lot. My little shed is uh, beside our carport. I'm gonna have to pack all this up and take back over to the house in the rain and I have no umbrella. Unless my husband is still away. He, um, when I'm over here at night by myself, he does stay up to, um, to watch. He leaves the, the mini blinds open so he can keep a check on me, which we do have good neighbors. I'm not worried about anything like that. I'm more worried about the bears. We have a lot of bears and it being, um, the, in fall and they're out looking for food <laughs> so they've been a, a time that I was over here filming and as I walked back across the road as soon as I made it to the porch there was a big old brown bear that came across here and actually walked across the porch of my little she shed but look at the details of this beauty I love it I, I mean I maybe paid like a dollar something for it not much at all so I'm very pleased I'm almost 10 minutes in I'm sorry, I've got a lot of stuff to go through, so we're gonna be extra chatty and extra rambly. I did get a little ghost um, foam plug to go into um, the little part where you charge your phone. It's a little ghost dangly. I got me one and my daughter one. Usually whatever I get me cutesy, I get her as well. Um, I got this for my bathroom. My bathroom is all going to be done in sheet ghosts. And it says, wash your hands, boo. I mean, it's, I mean, good quality. I'm very pleased with that. So, you can hang it on the wall, but I'm actually going to take a little easel and set it. I got a little shelf above my bathroom sink, and it's going to sit right there where the bathroom mirror is and the sink is to remind my husband to wash his hands. <laughs> He is my boo. Okay, and let's see what else we got. This thunder and lightning is like freaking me out because I'm over here by myself. Okay, so I seen this and um, 
yeah, I, w I hope it works. I haven't tried it yet, but it's one of those, um, I think it's called a shadow caster, um, that goes like you put tea light candles in. I don't know. It was, you can tell it's, it's, it was cut with one of those laser cutter things because this is a real thin wood. You can smell it. So I'm guessing it goes like this. You put your tea light candles down in there. And it is actually the Headless Horseman. I love the details of it. So I love the Headless Horseman. Um, here in our little town, our quaint little neighborhood here in, uh, in Letcher County, Kentucky, um, we have uh, in our little city, from the time I was a little girl, back in 1978, we have a man, and actually I think it's somebody in his family that does it now because the older man that used to do this has passed on, um, but we have the Headless Horseman that dresses up on Halloween and he comes up and down the road and it's very creepy, very cool. I'll try to add a Halloween video. If you all would like to see that, let me know and leave me a thumbs up and tell me in the comments if you would like to see a Halloween in my town video. I may share it on my other channel since this one's hauls and, you know, beauty, whatever. But on my other channel is called My Heart's Desire. Um, um, yeah, I'll share it on there if you would like to see it. Okay, the next little item is in a box and some styrofoam. Let's see what this is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I forgot. I honestly forgot about this. Oh my lanta. Look at this. I'm going to set this in my bathroom. Look at this cutesy tea light holder. Are you, it don't have to be a tea light holder. It can be like you can hold your like jewelry, your earrings, if you want to take your earrings out or your rings and put in there when you wash your hands. I don't know why it has this. I'm sorry if you can't hear me over all this rain. I apologize. We still got a while to go. Please, if you've made it this far, 13 minutes in, give me a ghost emoji. I also got my two dogs, Brownie and Holly. I no longer have my little Sadie Pug. She crossed over on the Rainbow Bridge. And that would be another video, too, I would like to do and share her story. But we have a new pug. Her name is Holly. And we still have our little Brownie, but I did get them a collar. Um, we got... Holly got the pumpkin collar, and guys, this is a good quality collar. It's got a little pumpkin charm on it, and it's got pumpkins all, and it's very soft, very soft. So they're gonna look so cute in these collars when they go see their mama, which is my mother-in-law. Me and my husband does not have kids together. I have a daughter from a previous marriage, and my husband does not have kids, period, so, my mother-in-law says she has grand dogs <laughs> and a grand cat, which is a little Marty cat. A uh, little Marty cat has a Halloween collar and a Christmas collar coming in. This is Brownie's collar, which is the leaf, and she's got a little leaf charm. I feel like I have to scream, guys. I'm so sorry of all times for it to rain during a video when it's been forever since I made a video. So I'm sorry. And I believe that is it. Yes, this is it for this bag. And on to one of the big heavier bags. I'm so excited. Okay, I will be right back. Okay, I tried to wait a bit so the rain would hold off a little bit, but it is not going to and it's getting late and my husband's got to work tomorrow and we got to get up extra early. So, um... Yeah, we're just gonna have to listen to the rain with me on this uh, loud middle <laughs> roof on my little shoe shit. So let's get into this bag. Look at this. Whoa, it is full. I did take out a wreath that I got from Timu that I am going to actually take this wreath apart. Um, I had to fluff it up a little bit because it was really squished in there. I mostly wanted this wreath for the ghost and the banner and then the ghost ribbon in here, but I do not like that gold in it. And it's very, this is actually cheaply made, but I only paid like $6 for it. 
and I need this. I will add a um, video um, with the wreath that um, I make taking this apart. So that will um, be added in, uh, in this video, hopefully. So, okay, let's see what's going on with my lot here. Okay. Next, um, I did get some cutesy little costumes for our dogs, Polly and Brownie. And um, I'll try to add a little video in uh, with the dogs with their costumes on or a picture or something. But our little Holly Pug got a spider. And it's got the little legs that you fold out. And her being a black pug, she makes the absolute best little spider. And then the other costume I got um, is actually for all of them to wear for a cute picture. But the only one that is going to let me, I know, put a sheet over their head is our dog Brownie. Um, she's the only one that's going to be calm enough to let me do that. So, um, it did come with a little pumpkin, like a little um, candy bucket here. And then this is the sheet part. Um, it's got the little eyes and the mouth cut out, and um, this light is doing something crazy, which is creepy to me. Um, but I'll add a picture and a video of that in with this video. I'm just throwing everything on the floor here. We got a little box here, and I honestly, I forgot what was in here. So, let's see. I hope you guys can hear me because I'm trying to talk loud. <gasps> oh my god, I forgot about this. I actually now I remember I bought three of these. Two of them was um, the same and one is different. Um, simply because once I had ordered two of these, these little night lights, I'll add a little video um, as well in this to show what it looks like. Um, I bought two of these, one for my mom, one for myself and one for my daughter, but the different one, I got two of these, yeah, two of these. So this will go to my daughter, and um, the other one was given to my mom, and the different one is in here somewhere, and I'll show you why I got a different one. So, I love not lots. I got a, a Rudolph one and a, um, a Snoopy and Woodstock Christmas one, like this, but those came from Lowe's years ago. Okay, next we got, okay, we got these little shower curtain, ghost shower curtain holder um, thingies, <laughs> um, and I also got a ghost shower curtain in here. Once I get this put up, I will share a video as well um, of the things that I use. I will try to show video clips of um, everything set up, and um, yeah, once I get my bathroom and stuff fixed up, but it's gonna be a ghostly bathroom. A spooky ghost bathroom. Okay. Where is the shower curtain? Okay, here is the shower curtain. It did come with these um, hangers, but I ordered the ghost ones. Um, there, there wasn't that much, maybe five or six dollars, but the shower curtain, I don't want to open it right now. I will add a, I'll try to add a picture right here somewhere or right here, but, um, a picture or video and show what it looks like. And it's got a big old sheet ghost on it. It's really cute. And then next, this is for, um, my bathroom. Maybe my bathroom or kitchen, I'm not for sure. I think I'll use this in my kitchen because my kitchen has a lot of like pumpkin decor in it. And um, the bathroom is more, gonna, you know, more she goes. But I got this rug. Wasn't very much at all. And it, I mean, it feels like pretty good quality. I think I paid maybe three or four dollars for it. Not much at all. But I'm very pleased with that. It's a very fluffy not like shag or anything. It kind of makes you feel, think of a fleece blanket. There's that. I got two sheet ghost pillows. These are going to go on my couch. They're very cute. I got a two pack of sheet ghost uh, pillowcases to cover the decorative pillows on my couch and Hopefully it's the same size and they'll just fit right in there. There's actually two in this pack. I'll show a video or a picture of it. 
I got a sheet ghost blanket. Pretty thick blanket. This little pumpkin and this little ghost pillow. Those come from Five Below. And I actually got a video to do um, a Five Below haul. But I think it's more going to be on my TikTok. So. And this little pillow right there. A little pumpkin pillow right there. Um, it came from Dollar Store. <laughs> so... Um, let me see what size I got. I can't remember what size I got. But, actually, this is going to go on the back. I'm going to fold it and lay on the back of my couch because I've already got one that my mom had got me. It's a little different, but it's black and white. It's got the sheet ghosts on it. And, um, it's on the back of my recliner in my living room. Because my, when my mother-in-law comes to visit, she loves to have a cute little throw to lay over her legs when she's laying back and relaxing. Because when my mother-in-law comes to visit, I like to pamper her and spoil her because she is absolutely amazing to me. I have the best mother-in-law. I'm very blessed with, I've had two sets, actually three sets, because my husband's got a stepmom and then his dad. Um, I have had three sets of in-laws that has been amazing. My first set when I was married to my daughter's dad, um, my mom and, or my, my, my mother-in-law, my husband's mom and stepdad, and then my husband's dad and stepmom. And then I am absolutely blessed with two sets of amazing parents. My mom and dad are everything to me. So I had to throw that in there I, because my mom watches my videos and I wanted to know how much I love her. <laughs> and thank you for everything you do for me, mom and dad. Me and Megan are very blessed. And same for my in-laws. They do so much for us. I'm just a grateful girl. Let me tell you guys, when you deal with something so scary, not knowing what the future holds for you and not knowing what the outcome of your life is going to be. When I was diagnosed um, November 2020 with stage 2 triple negative breast cancer and thankfully, thankfully, I'm well, I'm go I will be going four years, hopefully, into remission. Um, it'll be four years this November that I was diagnosed. And, um, yeah, I, I was not, um, based on genetics, I, I was not supposed to get cancer. I was not BRCA positive. I'm not positive for any of the cancer-causing genetics. And let me just tell you that dealing with something like that, you you see life in a whole new set of eyes. I mean, my mind, I, I have ADHD. I really do. My mind is like constantly going crazy, thinking of things to do this and do that. And then I deal with severe anxiety. Um, and, you know, just my, my brain, my mind is still stuck in, what's it called, fight or flight mode since the time I was diagnosed. So I'm always on edge worrying about that, but I'm hoping now that I'm feeling better, looking better, that you guys are going to keep me busy. You guys are going to say in the comments that you want to see more videos and listen to my rambling. And um, hopefully you guys will help me more than you know. So, I don't really have a lot of close friends. I have um, a few that I can count on my one hand. Or my, <laughs> count on one hand. Um, and a lot of you guys are um, friends that I met on YouTube and Instagram. So... I'm grateful for all of you guys. I love to make new friends. And, yeah, I had to ramble some more. But, anyway, got this throw for the back of my couch. I promise I'm almost done with this video. I got these little sheet ghosts that um, I'm guessing, I'm, I think it's a pack of three. I'm not even open them to look at them. I told you this stuff is always a surprise to me, too. But I'll take one of them out. Oh, my lanta. I think I want to hang these in my living room somewhere. Oh, oh my God. So, okay, it looks like a light bulb, a light bulb. And, um, let's see. Hang on. Oh, I gotta take this little thing out. Hang on. Oh, please don't fall. Okay. No way. You'll have to fix its like little arms because it's like, okay, you gotta do this. Oh, no freaking way. I'll have to fix its arms. Ooh. I'm the ghost with the three wide eyes. 
The two of black eyes. Oh, how, how cute is this? Yeah. You got three of them. Oh, it's like I actually share one with my mom. And all you do is push this little button right here. Oh, it does different things. No way. Oh my God, it's got three different light actions. I love it. I love it. Oh my God, he's so cute. <laughs> I'm silly, I know. I got this light a little more. Okay, sorry. Maybe this light will uh, hide my fine lines and wrinkles. Guys, I just turned this past September. I just turned 46, guys. 46. I am 46 years old. Can you believe that? I can't. My daughter's 28. I was a... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I had to do that. <laughs> Anyways, my daughter... I was a baby having a baby when I had my daughter. So, I, let's see. I was married a month and two days before she was born. And she was born on the 4th of July. But she got three. Three of those little ghosts. And I think they all look the same. I think their faces are all the same. I don't want to open them all. But, yeah. I mean, you all know, Timu. This stuff is not very expensive. So, we have one, two, three, four items. Just another little item. <gasps> I will save that for a jewelry haul. I'm going to save that. That was left down in the package when I just got the random jewelry out. So, that's for a Timu jewelry haul. Okay, next we have, I love little fairy gardens and things like that. And I also have um, some pets, jumping spiders. I love regal jumping spiders. Those of you that know me know that I am terrified of spiders, but I have become fascinated, absolutely fascinated with um, regal jumping spiders. So I have a few that has actually had babies and I have been making enclosures for them, and I hope to maybe sell them. So, to you know, make enclosures for jumping spiders, and maybe raise and um, and breed and sell regal jumping spiders because I love them. They're so fascinating. But anyways, I got little teeny tiny things like this, a whole bag. I think this whole bag was like six dollars maybe. Um, a little tiny fairy garden Halloween items. Look, each thing is individually wrapped. So I will open it all. I mean, it's loaded. Look at that. And the details are absolutely amazing. <gasps> no way. Look, a spooky tree. Oh my God. We have a black sheet ghost. Instead of a white sheet, we've got a black sheet. Black sheet ghost. We do not discriminate around here. Where is the little white sheet ghost? Oh my god, this stuff is... Oh, my lanta. I want to order some more of this. Look at this little skull. Overlook my funky nail. I'm going through some kind of vitamin deficiency right now. And my, my nail has done something crazy. Look. Oh, these little bags. This little bag is absolutely cram-packed full. But I got this to actually make... Um, a spider enclosure for Halloween. Look, you've got little bones. I mean, there's just so much. A little raven. I mean, I could stay here forever. This, I mean. Oh my God, I mean, it's just, look, it's still full. So, I will get every bit of that out. I will take a picture, make a video, something to show, and these, the details, oh my God, the details of this stuff is absolutely blown my mind. Very pleased with this item. Very pleased. I'm just gonna leave it down here so I don't lose it. And we have two more. This is actually um, a pillowcase for a longer pillow that's kind of rectangle shaped, but it's got sheet ghosts on it, and it is a fuzzy. How stinking cute. So, I'll put everything up, show pictures. Got these little tiny sheet ghost lights that are battery powered. 
and um, I'm not for sure why I'm going to put them. I got a little spooky Halloween tree that I might hang them on. I might hang them in, um, on my um, curtains in my living room, my window. And that's it for this bag. So we will get started on the last bag, the biggest bag of my Halloween goodies. And I will be right back. Okay, guys and girls, this is the last and biggest bag from Timu of Halloween goodies. So, crammed full. So, okay, this is a surprise bag too. So, <laughs> here we go. I know these little boxes look kind of rough looking. Ooh, I think I showed my address again. But, I know what this one is. This one I did get sent separate. And I did open it to take a peek. And it is a, what's it called? A candelabra thing. And I did get some spooky battery powered candles to stick in this and to set on my table. Because I want to make a fortune teller table in my kitchen. And look, it is all taken apart. So that's going to be fun to put together. This next box, let's see what it is. I think I know what it is. This is um, not what I thought it was. This is actually something I bought to set in my living room or my bathroom, which is both um, gonna be done in sheet goes. And look how cute this little filler is. Holding a little bat. Hey, just look at that sweet little face. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I love it. I got quite a few little sheet ghosts. Um, I don't know if everybody else calls them this, but um, around here we call them whatnots. Little whatnots to set on our shelves. We got another box here, and this one might be the other thing I was thinking about. Yes, this matches the um, the two little ghosts doing the s'mores and at the fire night light. This is actually the tea light holder. Oh my god, I'm getting styrofoam everywhere. Very good quality. Very pleased. You put the little tea light in there. Oh, how cute is that? I love it. I love it. I love it. And then I did get another um, night light. I got styrofoam all over me. Jesus. Anyways, this stuff is messy. But I did get another little um, sheet ghost not light, but it's a, a bit different than the one that I showed you. I don't know where it's at. I think this is maybe not it. <gasps> no, this is one of those um, like vintage candle holders. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I actually um, have a regular white, um, what's it called, a tapered candle, and I fixed it to look like a ghost face on it. So that will sit in my bathroom with my candle on it that I made. So very excited, very excited. I will show a picture of that. I think this might be the spooky candles. I'm not for sure. Oh, yes, it is. I got these because they look spooky ooky ooky to put in my candelabra and I think they actually came with a remote so got one two three four five six got six of them I wanted quite a few um battery powered candles tea light candles because I use them all holidays year round so this is I can't remember maybe it's what I'm looking for oh Nope, this is something totally different. This is three little sheep ghosts, a little whatnot as I call them. Anybody else call them whatnot? Some call them just figurines. It says, Happy Halloween! And it's got three little sheep ghosts. Not for sure what I'm going to set this yet, but that little sheep ghost has little SpongeBob teeth. That little middle one. <laughs> How cute! Still have not come across that one thing. I know it's in here. I don't think that I took it out. 
Okay. Ooh, I did get phone cases. I desperately needed phone cases. I got, uh, these are not Halloween related. These are like, I guess this would be like a fall and Halloween haul. Um, I did get some little mushrooms. I did get some pink ghosties for Halloween and breast cancer awareness month. I did get this crazy looking frog with a little mushroom hat and some some go-go boots. And then I got this real pretty fall pumpkin one. So I could use I could use that one for Halloween or for Thanksgiving. Just for fall. So those were not very expensive at all. Next I got this super cute, cute banner. It has, um, I don't know where I'm going to put it. It has little sheet ghosts, bats, and pumpkins. Can you see that? How cute. Oh my god. I might hang it back through here. Um, because I got sheet ghost, um, banners all through the house right now. So I don't know where I'm going to put that one. But I'm glad I got it. I can always use it in a photo shoot or something. I did get me a, um, Halloween sweater. And it's one of the little short sweaters. I think I got a size medium because I like my sweaters kind of big. But look at this cuteness. Oh my god, it does not button up. It's just a little pullover sweater. See? Oh my lanta. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And it does not stink either. It just smells like the plastic bag that it was in. I really do appreciate you guys stopping by to watch this long rambly video. Um, I apologize again for it being so long and I apologize again for being so rambly. <laughs> and um, I promise guys, if you don't like rambling videos, I will try to make them shorter. If you like longer videos, you all just tell me. Because I aim to please. <laughs> I, think, yeah, I love house shoes when I'm home, which is a lot. Um, I do uh, photography, so I have my own little studio, which is where I'm at. I call it the She Shed Studio. Um, I do, um, you know, I am home a lot, so I'm always wearing my comfy house shoes. Um, I have holiday house shoes. I got Christmas ones. I got spring house shoes. I got summer house shoes. I got winter house shoes. And now I have some... Halloween ones and they are a good plastic bottom. They feel like a good quality. They're super soft. So that is so cute. I'm going to be super cozy. This um, I do not want to open because it's going to be probably hard to put back in the bag. I'm not going to use it this year, but I got such a good deal on it. This was on sale for like $10 plus I had points that I used, and this is a fall bathroom set. This is the, um, actually two rugs. You get the rug that goes in front of your toilet that is cut out to, be go, to go around your toilet, um, the bath mat to go in front of your bathtub. It's actually got the toilet seat cover, and then it also has the beautiful shower curtain, and it all feels like super good quality. I think the shower curtain is actually silky, like decorative, like the Sheet Ghost one. So I do have a regular shower curtain that I use that can get wet. This one will be the second of the decorative one. So, yeah, this is really cute. I, won't, I may not be using it because I think as soon as I'm done with Halloween, I'm going to go straight into Christmas because I got a lot of decorating to do. We're almost done with this haul, guys. I promise. We just have a few more things to go. And this is actually some more spooky candles. Battery powered. These are taller. And they do light up. And from the reviews, they look really cool. They do have a little remote with them. So that is extra cool. I think I paid maybe for six of them. Three, four. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. For six of them, plus the little remote and them being, um, look at how battery powered. I think I paid eight, eight or nine dollars, not much at all. So, this last item, I believe, has to be what I have been, um, searching for. Well, 
Let me make sure. Yep. Thank you. This is the um, the other little knot lot. I believe it is. I hope it is. The other little knot lot that I want to share that is different from the first one that I showed that I got my um, mother and my daughter. And this one is a little different simply because um, I had ordered those first. And then when I seen this one, I was like, I have to get it. So, okay. This is me and my husband love s'mores. So, this is the little guy, Sheet Ghost. This is the little girl, Sheet Ghost. And they're two dogs. So, this is my husband, myself, our dogs, Holly and Brownie. And then, with polymer clay, I'm going to try to put a little ghost kitty in here, too. So, we can't live out, leave out our little Marty cat. So, but is that not cute, guys? I absolutely love it. That is it for this haul. I apologize a thousand times for it being so long and me being so rambly. And I'm just so grateful to be back doing videos. And I know everybody does team moon hauls, but if you're like me, I love watching them all because I just, I love seeing all the goodies that people find and it makes me want to go get them too. So hopefully some of the things that I found, I will try to link what I can in this video. I no promises, but I will try. And if you see anything that you like that I shared, you can give it too. Guys, let me know if you want me to do some more videos, um, whether it be rambling, talking videos, beauty videos, videos showing vintage things. Um, you know, come check out that channel over there. I do support my friends back. You come visit me. I will come visit you. I love to chat with you guys. And, um... Yeah, I just hope everybody's doing good. You're in my prayers, and keep me and my family in your prayers if you're the praying type. And I will see you guys in another haul and in another video. Take care, guys. Here comes the thunder and the rain again. Oh, my gosh. I got to call my husband to come help me take all this back across the road. So, I love you. Bye.